A few weeks ago, I stumbled upon this web page and decided to check whether its registry tweaks for gaming really have an effect on CPU and GPU performance. Therefore, excluding network specific ones, we only have 5 values to edit. System responsiveness, from the default value of 20 to 0. This means that 0% of these CPU resources are now reserved for low priority tasks, instead of 20%. Scheduling category, from medium to high. Priority, from 2 to 6, even if it should be treated as 2 when the value above is set to high. GPU priority, from 2 to 8. In my case, this was already set to 8. SFIO priority from normal to high. However, opening the reference MS link, we can notice three corrections. A system responsiveness of 0 is treated as 10, and GPU priority is not used, just like SFIO priority. In practice, only the first two edits possibly work, and the former to a slightly lesser extent. Anyway, I tested each of the two conditions i no tweaks and yes tweaks 10 times in 3 d mark time spy extreme and got the following results but let's focus on the three pairs of average scores total graphics and processor since the two conditions output means very close to each other one could expect no statistically significant difference among each pair to find out whether this is true, let's run my dependent TTS script in our studio. And here is the outcome. Now, if I chose a 99% confidence level, a difference is regarded as significant if its p-value is less than or equal to 0.01. As this isn't true in all three comparisons, our expectation is confirmed. To present or absent, performance is the same. However, if I chose a 95% CL, a difference is regarded significant if its p-value is less than or equal to 0.05. Since this is true in all but the first comparison, our expectation is somewhat unfulfilled. With tweaks employed, while GPU performance is significantly worse, CPU performance is significantly better. But they balance each other out in the total score, which is in fact virtually the same. What level should I pick then? Both have pros and cons, which are beyond the scope of this video. So, as with most things in life, the answer is not clear-cut. Personally, I would do this. If a game was heavily CPU bound, I'd try the aforementioned tweaks, otherwise I would leave the registry alone. Depending on your interest in this topic, I might conduct further research. Meanwhile, fare you well for now.